Psych Psych is an American detective comedy drama television series created by Steve Franks and broadcast on USA Network with syndication reruns on Ion Television. It is produced by Franks and Tagline Television's Chris Hens and Kelly Kulshak. The series stars James Rode as Sean Spencer, a young crime consultant for the Santa Barbara Police Department whose heightened observational skills, and impressive detective instincts allow him to convince people that he solves cases with psychic abilities. The program also stars Dool Hill as Sean's best friend and reluctant partner Burton Gus Gusta, as well as Corbin Burnson as Sean's father, Henry, a former officer of the Santa Barbara Police Department. The series airs new episodes in the United States on Wednesdays at 9 p.m. Eastern Time PT, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time on USA Network. During the second season, an animated segment was added to the series titled The Big Adventures of Little Sean and Gus. Psych debuted on Friday, July 7, 2006, immediately following the fifth season premiere of Monk, and continued to be paired with the series until Monk's conclusion on December 4, 2009. It was the highest rated U.S. basic cable television premiere of 2006. It is currently USA Network's longest-running original series on air. USA Network renewed the series for an eighth season on December 19, 2012, to include eight episodes, and ordered two more episodes on June 25, 2013, bringing the episode order to ten. On February 5, 2014, USA Network confirmed that the eighth season of Psych would be its last, with the series finale airing on March 26, 2014. Overview Most episodes begin with a cold open in the form of a flashback to Sean and Gus's childhood. The flashbacks usually involve Sean and Gus being taught a lesson by a young Henry Spencer, who wishes that his son would follow in his footsteps and become a law enforcement officer. These lessons often play a role for the climax of the episode. As a child, Sean was taught by Henry to hone his powers of observation and deduction often using games and challenges to test him. Each flashback also sets the theme for the episode. Sean originally becomes known as a psychic when, after calling in tips on dozens of crimes covered on the news which helped the police to close the case, the police become suspicious of his knowledge. The police theorize that such knowledge could only come from the inside, and they decide to arrest him as a suspect. To avoid being sent to jail, Sean uses his observational skills to convince the police that he is psychic. The interim police chief warns Sean that if his powers are fake, he will be prosecuted. With no choice but to keep up the act, and having proven himself an effective aid to the police in solving crimes, he establishes a psychic detective agency, Psych, and becomes a consultant to the police. Pretending to have psychic powers allows him to engage in strange and comic behavior as he turns real clues into hunches and otherworldly visitations. He enjoys teasing lifelong friend Burton Guster, Gus, a pharmaceutical representative, about Gus's eclectic interest as they drive around in a blue Toyota Yaris nicknamed the Blueberry Solving Crimes. Head Detective Carlton Lassiter, Timothy Omanson, playfully named Lassie by Sean and Gus quietly respects Sean's crime-solving skills but doubts his psychic abilities and is constantly exasperated by his antics. However, junior detective Juliet Jules O'Hara, Maggie Lawson, and Chief Vic, Kirsten Nelson, are far less antagonistic, with O'Hara expressing belief in Sean's abilities, while Vic is mum on the subject, and usually willing to give Sean the leeway he needs to solve cases. Henry and Sean have a difficult relationship, but despite this, Henry reluctantly helps Sean on various occasions. Cast and Characters Main Characters Sean Spencer, James Rode, is a freelance consultant with the Santa Barbara Police Department who pretends to be a psychic. However, it is really his exceptional observational skills and eidetic memory that allow him to obtain his visions. He refuses to take anything seriously but has matured slowly throughout the seasons. He has had romantic tension with Juliet O'Hara since they met, which led them to start dating in the middle of season 5. In the middle of season 6 he tries to propose to her but finds out that neither of them are ready, Burton Gus Gusta, 
Stool Hill, is Sean's best friend since childhood as well as business partner. He also is a pharmaceutical salesman. Unlike Sean, he takes his work very seriously, playing the straight man, and usually tries to act professionally, yet in later episodes he ends up as invested in jokes and snacks as Sean. He is famous for his many aliases, usually given to him by Sean, including Magic Head, Lavender Gooms, Gee Buttersnaps, and Control or Delete. He is known for being attracted to all types of women, who often end up being the criminal. He is also known for his super sensitive nose, the super sniffer, or super smeller. He is also usually very sensitive and has a gigantic soft side. Carlton Jeep Dyer Lassie Lassiter, Timothy Omanson, is the head detective for the Santa Barbara Police Department. He is skeptical of Sean's psychic abilities, and is extremely annoyed by Sean's comic antics. However, he once secretly confessed to Sean while drunk that he respects him and because of this he occasionally comes to Psych for help with his more difficult cases. During Season 7, Lassie married his girlfriend, Marlo. In Season 8 they find out that Marlo is pregnant. Juliet Jules O'Hara, Maggie Lawson, is a junior detective for the Santa Barbara Police Department, and is Lassiter's partner. She joined the SBPD after Lassiter's old partner got transferred after the pilot episode, and was originally a cop in Miami. Throughout the series she and Sean share constant romantic tension. The two start dating in Season 5 but hit a bump when she discovers his secret in Season 7. The bump is only temporary, though, and the two resume dating near the end of Season 7. In the final episode of Season 8, The Breakup, she accepts his marriage proposal. Chief Karen Vick, Kirsten Nelson, is the SBPD chief. She is tough but fair, usually reluctant to hire Sean and Gus for cases, but almost always gives in. She respects Sean's help and input but firmly keeps him in check, as much as she can, when he pushes the limits of the law or her patience. Henry Spencer, Corbin Burnson, is Sean's uptight and precise father and a former police sergeant. He trained Sean on everything about being a detective, going so far as teaching him to remember the layout of a room with his eyes closed and beating a lie detector. He is usually visited by Sean with questions about various cases but is also usually reluctant to help. He has been rehired to the SBPD to be in charge of the department's consultants, much to Sean's chagrin. At the end of season 6 in a cliffhanger ending, Henry quit the SBPD and then was shot by a former police partner after finding out he was being paid to cover up cases for criminals. In the season 7 premiere, we learn that Henry survived the shooting and is making a recovery. In spite of no longer being part of the SBPD staff, he still helps Sean with his cases. Recurring Characters Young Sean, Seasons 1-5, Liam James Seasons 5 to 6, Skylar Gisondo, is the younger version of Sean Spencer. He is shown at the beginning of most episodes in flashbacks to the late 1980s and early 1990s, usually learning a life lesson from his father, which helps him later in the episode. He has also been portrayed by Josh Hayden, in the pilot episode, and by Kyle Pejpar, in the episode Spelling Bee, Young Gus, Carlos McCullers II is the younger version of Burton Gus Guster. He is shown at the beginning of various episodes in flashbacks with Sean. He was also portrayed by Isa Brown during the first season. Buzz McNabb, Sage Brocklebank, is a naive but lovable cop who often provides Sean and Gus with clues. He takes every case given to him by Lassiter and Juliet with a polite, optimistic attitude, despite both Lassiter and Jules finding said case to be menial. Sean gives him a little boy cat, that is actually a girl cat, that once helped him solve a case in season 1. In Sean Gets the Yips, 4.05, McNabb is severely injured when a bomb went off in his mailbox while he was getting his mail. Later in the episode, he returns to work with a severe concussion and on crutches, remarking to Sean and Gus that he had lost part of three toes, and when Sean coughs, he immediately begins to go get Sean a drink of water before being told numerous times that he should rest. He has occasionally pulled Sean over for various traffic violations only to realize that it is him and apologize. In the fourth season finale episode, 
Mr. Yin presents. 4.16, McNabb is attacked and knocked unconscious by the unseen killer. He returns in Season 5. In Season 7, he appears as a male stripper at the hotel where Marlo has her bachelorette party, attended by both Juliet and the chief, Madeline Spencer, Sybil Shepard, is a police psychologist who is Sean's mother and Henry's ex-wife. In the episode Ghosts, 3.01, she tells Lassiter that she has eidetic tonal memory, which is like Sean's photographic memory but with sound. She also appears in Murder? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller. 3.02, An Evening with Mr. Yang, 3.16, Yang 3 in 2D, 5.16, and Juliet takes a Louvre, 7.02. She was portrayed over the shoulder by a different actress in Sean, and Gus, of the Dead, 2.16. Psych is partially inspired by the 1980s hit TV series Moonlighting, in which Shepard plays the lead character, and Madeline Spencer was made to symbolically give birth to the lead character of Psych. Abigail Littar, Rachel Lee Cook, is Sean's high school crush, whom he let get away when he moved from, then back to, Santa Barbara and his parents got divorced. She first appears in Murder? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller. 3.02 and returns in an evening with Mr. Yang, 3.16, he dead, 4.02, Bollywood Homicide, 4.06, and You Can't Handle This Episode, 4.10. In You Can't Handle This Episode, the winter half premiere of season 4, Abigail departs for Uganda. However, she returns in the episode Mr. Yin Presents. 4.16 After being kidnapped by Yin and saved by Sean, she tells him she does not like danger and breaks up with him after the two share a final kiss. Winnie Gusta, Phyllisa Rashad, is Gus' mother. She appears in the first two of the series' Christmas episodes, Gus's dad may have killed an old guy, 2.10 and Christmas Joy, 3.09. She later appears in Nightmare on State Street, 8.09 in one of Gus' nightmares. Bill Gusta, Ernie Hudson, Keith David, is Gus' father. Although the character of Gus' father appeared in the first two Christmas episodes, Bill Gusta was played by Ernie Hudson in Gus's Dad May Have Killed an Old Guy, and by Keith David in Christmas Joy. Mr. Yang, Ali Shidi, was a serial killer, first appearing in an evening with Mr. Yang, 3.16. She returns after a decade-long absence to target Sean in her deadly game of cat and mouse. In the season 4 finale, Mr. Yin presents. 4.16, Sean and Gus visit her in prison. She seemed to have a deeper connection to Sean, as the last scene of Mr. Yin presents. Shows Yin, Yang's partner, looking at a picture of what is presumably a young Yang, standing next to young Sean. Her help is enlisted again by Sean and Gus in Yang 3 in 2D, the fifth season's finale, in which it is revealed that she is actually Yin's daughter. She later returns in Psych, the musical, 7.15, in which she is stabbed to death by the eventual murderer, Mary Lightly. Jimmy Simpson, was a department psychologist who was an expert on Mr. Yang. He first appeared in An Evening with Mr. Yang, 3.16 and later in Mr. Yin Presents. 4.16. He was stabbed to death in the season 4 finale by Yin while bravely trying to capture him alone. He appears on videotape in Yang 3 in 2D, 5.16, as well as in an after-death sequence in Psych, the musical, 7.15. Woody the coroner, Kurt Fuller, is a police coroner with whom Sean shares a mutual respect. His wife cheats on him with multiple men, some of whom he has approved. He is also apparently wanted in the Philippines. He first appeared in High Top Fade Out, 4.07. Mr. Yin, Christopher Turner, Peter Weller, was a serial killer who was actually responsible for the Yang murders. He is also Yang's father. He first appeared in Mr. Yin Presents, 4.16 targeting Sean, and later returned for a second round in Yang 3 in 2D, 5.16 in which he is murdered by his daughter, Pierre Despria. Carrie Elwes, is an extremely elusive Canadian art thief, first appearing in Extradition, British Columbia, 4.01.
when Sean and Gus travel to Canada on a ski trip they end up catching him. However, it is revealed that he, in fact, is simply an insurance fraudster. Despreer returned an extradition to, the actual extradition part, 5.10, in which he was accused of multiple murders after his escape from prison. He is later cleared of the murder charges and finally extradited to the United States. He returns in Indiana Sean in the Temple of the Kinder Crappy, Rusty Old Dagger, 6.10 in which he races with Sean and Gus against a gang of art thieves to find an old dagger. While he is seemingly murdered and the SBPD believe him to be dead, Sean and Gus know the truth. He finally appears in Lock, Stock, Some Smoking Barrels and Burton Gusta's Goblet of Fire, 8.01 where he is revealed to be Royston Staley, Deputy Director of Interpol. He claims Pierre Despria was created as an elaborate undercover operation, Although Sean and Gus are divided over whether this is the truth or part of an even bigger con, Declan Rand, Nestor Carbonell, is a rich criminal profiler so good at his job that he poses a threat to Sean. He turns out to be a fake criminal profiler and knows that Sean is not a real psychic. He briefly becomes Juliet's boyfriend. His first appearance was in Sean 2.0, 5.08, and his most recent appearance was in 1, maybe 2, ways out. 5.09. In Extradition 2, the actual extradition part, 5.10, Juliet announces that she and Declan broke up. He is considered a fake, just like Sean. He is compared to Sean in a few ways, like the fact that both their fathers taught them about the fields that they are working. Marlo Vicellio, Christy Swanson, is a woman lesser to meets and later marries. It is later discovered that she has been stealing blood in order to help her dying brother, and she is sent to prison. Despite this, her relationship with Lassiter continues. She first appears in This Episode Sucks, 6.03 and later in Let's Do What Pit Again, 6.13. In Season 7 after being released from prison, she and Lassiter tie the knot and later have a baby girl, Kurt Smith, himself is a British singer best known for his work in the band Tears for Fears. He first appeared in the episode Sean 2.0, 5.08, where he had been hired to perform full-time at the estate of Declan Rand. He later performs while intoxicated at the wedding of a friend of Sean and Gus. In the episode 100 Clues, 7.05, Kurt is hired to perform at an elusive party that Sean and Gus are invited to. However, he is shot in the diaphragm as he arrives. Frank O'Hara, William Shatner, is Juliet's estranged father, and also a talented con man who uses his talents to fool the Santa Barbara Police Department. Sean figured out his schemes, but told him he wouldn't give him up if he mended his relationship with Juliet. Juliet figures it out but he tries to right his wrongs by solving the crime. Juliet is slowly starting to have a better relationship with him. He first appears in In For A Penny, and again in Here Is Lassie. Ken Wong, Jerry Shear, is an Asian American who works for Sean and Gus, is fired, and is seen working at various places they visit. He is seen in Romeo and Juliet and Juliet, and in Plain Fright, as well as Hashtag Killer, an online-only episode. He does not like Sean and feels that he wants him to be jobless. Rachel, Parminda Negra, is Gus's girlfriend who first appeared in Juliet Takes a Louvre. It is revealed later in the same episode that she is a single mother, Lloyd French, Jeffrey Tambor, is Juliet's stepfather. He first appeared in No Country for Two Old Men, 7.04 and, later, in Right Turn or Left for Dead, 7.08. Episodes A.B. The episode Psych, the musical aired as a special two-hour event at 9 p.m. Eastern Time on December 15, 2013, outside of the seventh season's primary run. Production The show uses White Rock, British Columbia, Canada for its Santa Barbara, California setting. Psych also incorporates Vancouver and various locations around the lower mainland of British Columbia as a backdrop. Santa Barbara is on a mountainous coastline without bays and just has the few Channel Islands miles offshore. Many of the overlooking helicopter shots and set-up shots, 
in which the exterior of the Santa Barbara courthouse is shown, are actually filmed in Santa Barbara. The animated segments The Big Adventures of Little Sean and Gus were created by J.J. Stamaya Productions, Inc. The music, effects and sound design for The Big Adventures of Little Sean and Gus were created by Fred Weinberg. Theme Song The theme song for Psych is I Know You Know by the Friendly Indians, series creator Steve Frank's band. Some episodes in seasons 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 use the extended full-length version of I Know You Know, but most episodes use a shortened version, consisting of mostly the chorus. In some episodes the theme song is changed, usually as a tie-in to the theme of the episode to come. The theme was given a Christmas theme for the episode Gus's Dad May Have Killed an Old Guy, 2.10. It was used again in Christmas Joy, 3.09 in the Polarizing Express, 5.14. The song was sung in Spanish for Lights, Camera. Homicidio, 2.13 and No Country for Two Old Men, 7.04. It was expanded into Bollywood-themed version sung in Hindi in Bollywood Homicide, 4.06, Boys Two Men performed an a cappella version of the theme for High Top Fade Out, 4.07. It was used again for the episode Let's Do Whop It Again, 6.13, in the season 5 premiere, Romeo and Juliet and Juliet, 5.01, the main titles are translated in Chinese. However, the actual theme song itself is not edited. Kurt Smith of Tears for Fears guest starred in Sean 2.0, 5.08 and recorded his own version of the theme. Smith also recorded a song, This Is Christmas for the episode The Polarizing Express, 5.14. Julie Cruz, who recorded the theme for Twin Peaks, recorded a slower, extended version of the theme for the Twin Peaks-inspired episode Yule Spires, 5.12. A superhero-themed version was recorded for The Amazing Psych Man and Tap Man, issue number 2, 6.04. The main titles were also redone in a comic book style. For the episode Here Is Lassie, 6.11, the song and main titles were given a theme similar to The Shining. The Christmas-themed and Hindi versions of the song also include variations on the main titles. The Hindi and Chinese-themed episodes phonetically translated words into Devanagari and Chinese characters, respectively, in their title sequences. The title sequence in the episode Dual Spires, 5.12 is an almost shot-for-shot -shot recreation of the title sequence of Twin Peaks. The episode 100 Clues, 7.05 featured an entirely new main title sequence based on the board game Clue. The actor names and title were shown on game cards similar to those of the cards of suspects in Clue. Pineapple In the episode pilot, James Roday improvised by picking up a pineapple and saying, Should I slice this up for the road? Since then, pineapples have appeared in almost every episode as a running gag. The pineapple is a major marketing point for items related to the show on the USA website. There have also been fan movements, such as fan-made websites, dedicated to finding a pineapple or pineapple-related object in each episode. Series Finale Post Show Following the series finale on March 26, 2014, the USA Network aired a live post show. The hour-long special was hosted by Kevin Pereira and featured series stars and creator-executive producer Steve Franks. Response Critical Reaction and Ratings Psych scored a 4.51 rating and an average of 6.1 million total viewers at its premiere, which made it the highest rated scripted series premiere on basic cable in 2006 in all key demographics, households, P18-49, P25-54, and total viewers, according to a USA Network press release. Quoted from the Futon Critic. From the San Jose Mercury News Colon. From the Seattle Post Intelligencer. As the show continued to grow, it became a mainstay in the premiere television show on the USA Network. Critics and fans have given high praise to the chemistry between the entire cast, most notably Rodé and Hill.
the themed episodes and overall creativity have also been received well. Positive critical reception for the show has dramatically increased as the show has gone on. Significant applause has been given to the show for remaining fresh and witty, even as they pass the 100 episode mark, and the online fan community is extremely lively. Nominations and Awards Psych was the winner of the Independent Investigations Group Annual Award for Excellence in Entertainment for Advancing the Cause of Science and Exposing Superstition. Accepting for Psych was staff writer Daniel Err. Uh, James Roday was nominated for the 2006 Satellite Award for Best Actor, TV Series Musical or Comedy. James Roday was nominated for the 2009 A Award for Best Actor in a Comedy. Psych was nominated for its first Emmy Award in 2010 in the category Outstanding Music Composition for a Series for the episode Mr. Yin Presents. Adam Cohen and John Robert Wood were the composers for this episode. Psych was nominated for its second Emmy Award in 2012 in the category Outstanding Creative Achievement in Interactive Media for their interactive game Hashtag Killer. Psych was nominated for its first People's Choice Award in 2012 for Best Cable TV Comedy. Psych was the winner of the People's Choice Awards in 2014 for Best Cable TV Comedy. Syndication In July 2011 Ion Television announced that Psych will become part of their 2012 broadcast in syndication. During 2012 reruns of the show mostly ran on Saturdays as a marathon. In 2013 Ion Television announced the acquisition option pickup of Season 7 of Psych. The deal with MPK Universal Cable and New Media Distribution adds all 16 new episodes of Season 7 to Ion's existing library of Seasons 1 to 6 of Psych and includes rights to future seasons. DVD releases Seasons 1 through 6 are available on DVD in Regions 1, 2 and 4, as well as for online streaming on Netflix and Hulu and online download in the US, Canadian, UK, and Australian iTunes stores. In addition, the seventh season is available on DVD in Region 1 and in the US, Canadian, and UK iTunes stores. The episode Psych, the musical is available on DVD in Region 1 and for download in the US iTunes store. The eighth and final season is also available for download in the US iTunes store. Despite being available in HD over streaming and download video services, and seasons 4 through 8 being filmed in HD, no Blu-ray release of Psych exists. Novels William Rapkin has written and published six novels based on the series. The novels are written in third-person narrative styles.